Hey everyone, Sam McGuire here from Enterprise DNA. I just want to do a wrap up blog here for the Power BI Challenge 8. Once again, an incredible uh, round of submissions. Um, the challenges just keep getting better and better. It is There is just no doubt that it is the best location to get up to date uh, ideas around and inspiration around what you're doing inside of Power BI. So I'm currently just in the forum. And the enterprise dna forum i'm going to jump to our a specific uh folder here or a specific thread which is all about the um uh the show the challenges so power bi challenges just going to click on that and you'll see here that um we had you know a lot of a huge amount of collaboration around um, how this challenge went right and so i just want to walk through some of the incredible submissions and then we also have a wrap-up blog as well which i can um i can show you show you also so a couple of, like let's just go back to the start and we'll, we'll have a look at some of the submissions in terms of actually let's just start off with what um what this was all about okay so this was actually as real world as it gets right this was this was a real world data set from jira which is a project managing tool um or like a um like a development uh, management tool uh, that's from atlassian and so one of one of one of our um use our members actually um decided okay let's put forward this particular data the data was totally randomized even though the the structure of it was exactly what they were dealing with within their own business and they wanted to see okay well what what can the what could the community come up with on this on this particular data right and so this is actually sort of the direction that we want to take the challenges in the future is where we want to actually partner with organizations who want to run some analysis and want to use the opportunity you know, the opportunity to put their data or to put their scenario in front of the com our community right and then be able to have you know 50 to 100 of the best power bi developers in the world you know working across their data uh, and coming up with really amazing and interesting solutions around how to report on their on their scenario right um so if you are part of an organization that that wants that type of um uh, to who wants to run that sort of competition that type of competition then definitely reach out to myself or the team and we can look to integrate this into a future challenge but you know this was just a really good test case of how this could work because you know based on this we had some you know amazing inspiration right and one of the great things about the challenge is just the collaboration which is happening between all those in, in our community i mean there's just no better community out there in terms of you know how supportive everyone is how how happy everyone is to teach each other what they're doing um you know we, we've seen so many of our um, participants in the challenge come up from our membership you know from those who are members and have been part of our community for a while and just are being able to really leverage off everyone else right and um you know to me that is just super powerful i don't feel like there's any better network effects in the, in, in the power bi world um really so so definitely get involved um if, if you haven't already okay so let's just scroll down uh and i want to show you some of the, some of the better some of the better submissions here right Okay, so here's one. So here's Greg. Greg actually won, actually won the challenge. Okay, so check check this out for you know um, <clears throat> uh, for inspiration. Okay, so Greg Greg or uh, Greg Greg Phelps is one of our enterprise DNA experts, and he uh, always ha comes at, at these challenges as it's with with a perspective it's always about storytelling right it's always about digging into the data it's not just about the visualizations it's about um telling a really strong narrative around what to do you know what 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 you should what you should be doing with the information in front of you okay and so <clears throat> you'll see here that there's always a very descriptive around you and utilizes dynamic um text to showcase okay when certain selections are made you know what sort of insights what sort of takeaways should should you be what sort of stories should you be telling you know with the with the information that is being shown to you okay and i really love the simple designs like a lot of really small features that i just love here you'll see that there's this you know question mark box which comes up with a tool tip that shows you know some some further information about the particular report i love the navigation feature here check out when we go to different pages you see that the simple navigation feature of having these two arrows and then just embedding some um, report navigation 
around that to different pages is is super powerful right like when you when you view this in the in the publish to web feature you know this just looks like a purely web-based application it's it's really amazing and then i also love the the grids that have been developed here with the simple um uh, the, with the simple backgrounds with the simple shadows i think that looks really nice and you see that it's also really consistent and you'll see here that you know there's some really comprehensive takeaways you know so if you're if you're reviewing this on a, on a daily basis, you know, here are your daily takeaways or your monthly takeaways, right? So you're, you're, you're literally, you're, you can truly automate your reporting and Greg has shown this super well. And that's why, why he ultimately took out the particular, um, the particular challenge, okay? You'll see here that also just extensive write-ups. So if you wanna see exactly how someone did something, we, we have encouraged and we support those who are, you know, to, and we, we say and we want all those to participants to really write down how they did something so that others can learn. And you just wouldn't believe the collaboration which is happening off the back of that. It's just awesome to see how in into um, our challenges and into supporting the community, um, those, the, the, uh, you know, our members are, right? so it's 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 so good to see probably you know our community is our is is is, is honestly our strongest asset and there's just no doubting uh, that in my mind and so here's another one that which i really love from um from zoe look at this design i mean check out how amazing this design is right i mean isn't that compelling like it's so like it's not over complicated but just looks amazing just an amazing navigation um down down the left hand side easy way you know we've got some um, lines here which I, I believe opens up like you know your filtering area so super theme super design uh, super visualizations as well um, and just super insights I mean that, that can you can you ask for much more in a power bi report or, or can you ask for much more just to be inspired by you know what you can do in, in power bi I mean I, I don't think so I mean this is this is just super super well done and a very close um, you know, if not, yeah, you know, it's, it's amazing to think that this didn't even win, to be honest. But um, you know, there's there's such a high standard in some of these really great um, submissions that it's just it's just tough, right? And so here's another one. Um, this one is by uh, Neva, and so Neva, it's amazing um, uh, improvements, right? It's one of one of our one of our most improved every, every each and every challenge. Uh, great navigation, use of really interesting uh, visualizations. Um, yeah, again, I'm inspired by looking at this stuff. It's just just awesome. Okay, um, I'm gonna come down to some other ones. There's some other really good ones to see. I'll make sure that this particular link is placed into um, is placed into the uh, around the video as well. But you see here that um, we had some uh, you. Know, everyone's trying to extend themselves everyone's trying to challenge themselves which i really love as well because and you know hands down everyone or even some of our experts and i would include myself in that are getting better if each and every challenge because we're able to see what others are doing and we're able to try and you know we can integrate those into into what we are actually doing ourselves okay and because Power BI is updating so much, so many new features are coming on all the time, so much new functionality, you know, making sure that you're staying fresh around all of these new um, new things that you can do inside of Power BI, um, you know, is, is, is crucial. And that's what everyone's doing with um, w within each of these challenges is trying out, say for example here, uh, Greg really tried to dive into Python um, and how to use that in Power BI. So there's a little bit of, di of a discussion around how, how we did that. Okay, so AMD, AMD has been um, participating a lot and and seeing um, super improvement. So really, really pleased with, with with that. Here's another one from Brad, I think it was yeah. So another really superb submission. I think this is Brad's first time uh, working in uh, working around the challenge, and so some really unique visualizations. I love the simplicity around how this is set up in grids. Easy to navigate, easy on the eye, solid color palette, um, and so uh, you know think about if you're if you're a business wanting to uh, see information see all the all the key the key uh, indicators that you need to be monitoring you know this is a super easy um, you know this is showcasing how well you can actually do that uh, inside of power bi right power, as as you know power bi is just an incredible tool around what you can achieve so many great features right 
And you know, w within these challenges, we're just really seeing how you can bring all this together. Okay, we're not just we're not just analyzing you know historic videos even from us. Uh, 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 one technique here, another technique here. But if you want to really see how a full blown solution can be developed inside of Power BI, or you know, this is the perfect location to to get inspired around that. Okay, so I want to show you this. this there's a lot here. Okay, I'm literally just scratching the surface. I'm just I'm just showcasing to you, you know, some some of the ones that um, that I'm coming across as I scroll down here. Another one from Alex. Alex is just producing some. One of our members is just producing just absolutely phenomenal work uh, inside of Power BI. And again, some great inspiration here around navigation. So you see here, it's like web-based tab, you know, think about browser tabs, you know, so you can actually build that into your Power BI reports if you really wanted to, you know, and you can see here, you know, by clicking, clicking through, you know, you can see it just looks really compelling in terms of how you can tell a story around your data, right? So I just love that one. And and honestly, I really am, am pushing to try and get more videos from participants in the challenge into our channel. So you can actually, you know, so it's not just me doing an overview, you're actually um, getting taken inside these particular reports around how they're actually being done. Okay, and I wanna show you one last one from Mudasia, uh, Mudasia, I think. And sorry, sorry, I pronounced that wrong. I'll just scroll down here a little, little bit quicker. Another great one from Jarrett. Um, here we go. Where is it? Ah, okay, here. So this is, and I've I've already spoken to um, Medasia around. <laughs> this is seriously so good. Um, around actually creating some videos around how he did this. But check out this. This is this is this is done in Power BI. Would you believe it? Just unbelievably good analysis visualization navigation you know look how clean this looks i mean it's just this is this is this is what you get exposure to with our challenge right i mean this is just out of this out of this world how good this is just look look at all these unique visualizations that he's created that you can create in, i mean you wouldn't even have thought you can create this in power bi but he's he's worked with some unique custom visuals and he's just had to play around with with what you can um, do with visualizations um, to make something just so outstanding here okay so I, I literally cannot do it justice just by scrolling through it like that but you know i want to recommend again check this out so you can you, you can see it for yourself okay look that's all for me um you know I just want to do a bit of a roundup here just to sign off on this particular challenge and look forward to the next one. Again, super work by all those involved, you know, again, just blown away um, by, by, by what everyone's achieving and what we're showcasing. No better place on the web to get the freshest ideas around what you can do inside of Power BI. And just a reminder, if you are part of an organization which wants to throw us a data scenario that we can put into one of our challenges, then really want to talk to you. This is how we're going to evolve the challenges going forward. We're going to, we want to continue it, you know, continue to make it as real world as possible. And in the future, I'm hoping to maybe have some um, financial rewards for winners. Uh, and so that's that's something we're looking at uh, looking at as well. So definitely get involved so you can be a part of it. Um, you know, you, you, there's there's so much to be gained um, in so many different ways. Okay, all the very best. If you uh, like this video and, and enjoy the challenges, definitely throw it a like so we can do more of it. Um, you know, your feedback is is all, always um, reviewed and uh, really drives what we do. And uh, also, don't forget to subscribe. Um, you know, super content around Power BI and many other initiatives that we're running to come out very soon. So uh, looking forward to getting that into your hands as soon as possible. Okay, everyone, take care. All the best.